Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Right, so uh, we do have Serratis, which is going to be the final boss of 8.3 that's coming in October, according to all the data mines. Well, we have his abilities now, thanks to MCOC player 920. I will leave a link to his Twitter into the video description below, in case you do want to snack these images for yourself. But uh, meanwhile, we can take a look at his abilities, and he does look very much similar to a lot of these final boss champions that we have seen before, except that, well, it's obviously different, because there are like three different mechanics that you can do in order to increase your damage output in a fight, kind of like three different type of missions, I suppose. Because the entire theme around this boss is going to be that you damage his leg shield or spirit armor. Uh, so different types of armor. And, and that will let you do more damage. And uh, there are some new additions. Like this is going to be first ever like final boss that pretty much will require or heavily encourage you to use the strikers. Because spirit armor, as many of you probably have guessed, has to do with strikers because that power is called spirit meter in this fight also your strikers feel quicker and basically yeah in order to damage that armor you will have to use striker to land hits against him and shield armor is the block and leg armor is like your regular hits so let's take a bit closer look to his abilities and then say what we think so serratus suit enhanced with alien technology grants him immunity to slow neutralize power drain and power lock Keep in mind that it doesn't uh, give immunity to power steel and power burn, I believe. So some power control abilities will work against him. Stratus also cannot uh, have his ability accuracy modified. Fair enough. Stratus seeks methods to uh, prolong his existence. Whenever the attacker gains indestructible or immortality effect, it is removed once per fight when this ability prevents an effect, Serratus gains an indestructible passive for two seconds, so that's kind of like... This and one more point basically will eliminate Hercules again, because there's that infuriate clause in it as well, and Herc's immortality ain't gonna be working. So this is again Herc-proofed, or her hindered final boss. Serratus' suit is constantly overflowing with energy, increasing the attacker's spirit gain rate by X%. percent. Spirit gain rate is basically your striker's power meter. So strikers will charge up quicker. Then we have his leg armor. Whenever Serratus is knocked down, X amount of leg armor is damaged. For each unique buff on the attacker, an additional stacks are damaged up to a maximum of X armor total. So this is probably going to heavily imply Odin's pre-fights and Cosmic Champions in general, because for the most part, it looks like you will want buff-heavy champions for this guy. When leg armor... Uh, overcharge, it's triggered, it lasts for X amount of seconds, while active, Suratis becomes passively unstoppable and stun immune against the last hit of incoming special 1, 2 and heavy attacks. Uh, so you're gonna have to damage these armors, but when you completely break them, you're gonna have to be very careful. Shield armor is kind of similar, it basically says the same thing except when you hit the block. When attacker strikes Suratis block, stacks of shield armor are damaged, for each unique buff you damage additional ones, and then, when shield overcharge is triggered, it lasts for X amount of seconds. While active, striking Serratis block unleashes the repulsor blast, knocking his opponent over and inflicting a plasma passive dealing energy damage. This blast cannot be prevented due to a weight miss or auto block. So again, you're going to have to hit his block to destroy that armor, but then you're going to be have to be very careful not to hit his block. So it's going to be one of those things where a lot of stuff is happening and you need to pay attention. And the same thing basically with the spirit armor where you land hits with striker, you inflict damage, and then well, when his uh, spirit overcharge is triggered, uh, Serratus passively becomes unblockable, unstoppable, and gains true sense. These effects are paused for X amount of seconds if Serratus is intercepted. This is probably the most dangerous one because he's unblockable and unstoppable and has true sense then you can't really do anything, because <laughs> he's immune to slow and stuff as well. And his version of Corrupted Armor. So Serratus has three variants of Corrupted Armor, Leg, Shield, and Spirit. Each reduces incoming damage from all sources. By striking 
specific sources of corrupted armor the attacker can damage corrupted armor variants while damage corrupted armor slowly repairs itself at the rate of one stack of corrupted armor every x amount of seconds repairs are slower during opponent's special attacks or whilst you use strikers when corrupted armor variant has been damaged it becomes locked and cannot be damaged again until different armor variant has been damaged it's like super important because you're going to have to alternate in between at the very least two ways how you deal damage so either hit him a lot in a block and then uh you know with your special attacks or whatnot uh, or with strikers while Serratus is fighting against mutants, armor repairs faster. While Serratus is suffering from Infuriate, his armor repairs faster. So that's uh, Hercules and poor Mantis is caught in the crossfire, I suppose. And depending on current phase of the battle, Serratus can overcharge his corrupt the armor variants, triggering deadly abilities, regaining maximum amount of power. And uh, then we do have his phase descriptions, uh, where, again, it's from 100 to 91 percent from 90 to 51 percent from 50 to 6 and from 5 to 1 and they do get progressively harder uh, so damage serrat's corrupt armor variants deal massive so once you break his armor you're going to be dealing a lot of damage if corrupt armor variant ever fully repairs back to x amount of stacks it triggers the overcharge also the effects of each uh, phase stack unless not otherwise when transitioning between phases he purifies all the stuns and whatnot and debuffs on him. Overdrive is removed when Serratus is intercepted by a light or medium attack, detonating the energy in Serratus' suit, dealing him a burst of direct damage equal to X amount of his maximum health. So that's going to be kind of important, but when he is in his overdrive, you will need to land an intercept to do a ton of damage to him. Now we have phase two. Again, it gets progressively harder. In phase three, he goes stun immune. And yeah. Just gets more and more abilities and then the last one will probably by far be the hardest one survive all systems and overcharge to take down what's left of tony stark at the start of this phase serratus removes all of his corrupted armor to turn it all of his corrupted armor variants to overcharge so it means that you will not be able to hit his block not be able to do it hit him at all unless it's an intercept i believe and you can't use your specials or heavies so you can only intercept him in this last phase all his systems are in overcharge, Serratus takes no damage from the attacker. When Serratus is left with 1% health, his suit goes into a meltdown, his overcharge are disabled, his health is no longer drained, both champions' attack, uh, attack ratings are set to zero, and he's inflicted with an indefinite intimidate passive. Striking Serratus' block with light attack at, zero, at X amount of health will cause complete system collapse. So it seems like you're going to have to intercept a ton, without using special attacks, survive that phase, and then basically just hit block. Definitely sounds easier said than done type of situation. Some additional notes there. When corrupt variants broken, the refresh duration of all other active breaks, while corrupt armor variants are broken, so that's passively stunned. So it's like we have been experiencing with these past bosses, basically. And if he takes more than X amount of his max health while his stun's active, it starts expiring faster. When a broken state expires, corrupt armor variance is reset to maximum stacks and all that other good stuff. And there are some additional notes as well, kind of like explaining bits of striking into Serratus block will damage his shield armor. Striking into Serratus block will trigger a pulse or blast. That's when it goes in overcharge. Spirit overcharge disabled when this expires, spirit overcharge will reactivate and just some more prompts. So obviously, as always, keep in mind that uh, this can be changed. It is scheduled for October, so Kabam can make any and all changes they want to this champion by October. It is not official Kabam announcement, so take everything that I say here with a grain of salt. However, these guys are typically spot on, and it works out the way they do post these data mined abilities. And... Uh, it is pretty much in line with what we have seen and know so far. So again, if you don't know, 8.3 is scheduled for October release. Uh, this is meant to be the final boss, and these are the abilities that we suspect he will have. I will leave a link to all of these images. Well, basically, I'll leave a link to MCOC Player 920 Twitter account. And uh, you can go and download all of those images there and read them at 
your own time. As far as the fight goes, it, it's obviously impossible to tell with these fights that seem like a wall of text. Uh, I think this is going to be quite interesting. I pretty much like all of these boss fights. Uh, if I have to name the one that I like least, it's probably the Grandmaster. But I love all the Thanos fights. I love Gwenmaster. I love Kangs. I love Citalis. And hey, I even love Behemoth fight once I kind of get used to it. Because they definitely messed with that party timing. But uh, so far, Kabam has been doing a great job with these boss fights. I do hope that in future we get some sort of quest we ha where we have to defeat all of these bosses in one go. That would be awesome. What do you guys think? Anyways, that's it uh, for now. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information 